Welcome to the next episode of Doing Insurance Right. My name is Scott Jenkins, your host. I'm a local farmer's insurance agent here in Ahwatukee slash Phoenix, Arizona. And today we're going to talk about a landlord insurance policy. What basically you're looking for when you get a landlord policy, if you have a rental home, um, what you need to make sure you have coverage for and to help you out and what you should require from your renters um, as well on their rental policy. So basically a landlord policy obviously is you don't live there you are renting the home out. So there's going to be a couple of things you want to look for. The first one's obviously going to be the dwelling amount, making sure if there was a complete loss that they can rebuild the house. So if they value the house to rebuild it at 250,000 is to make sure you have what they call replacement cost, not just ACV where basically they're taking a portion of the house. So let's say the house's replacement cost is 250. They're showing it a value of 220. That's $30,000 less. So basically about 50 15%. So basically, you're going to end up owing an additional 30000 plus an additional 15% on top of that in order to get that house complete because it wasn't completely covered up to replacement costs. So making sure you have enough for the dwelling amount for replacement costs is extremely important. The next one you're going to want to look over when you do that is going to be loss of rents. Obviously, if you have, especially if you have a mortgage on that house, if you have a renter, they're not going to be able to live there. Therefore, they're not going to pay you rent. So how much rent are you losing? So if you're charging $2,000 a month, um, and if you have a complete loss in the state of Arizona, you want to figure 12 months. So that would be $24,000. Now, if we were in California, where it takes a lot longer to rebuild a home, uh, you want to have 24 months for loss of rents, and then you'd be looking at $48,000 to make sure you have that coverage. So that way you're not paying for a mortgage that you can't rent out. The, The next one you're going to want to look over is personal property. Do you have have any property at the residence? Do you have a lawnmower there? Do you have anything that's there that would be considered personal property? Personal property on a landlord policy is just like a homeowner's. Basically, if we took the house, we shook it upside down. Uh, anything that would fall out would be considered personal property. So did you leave a washer dryer there? Do you have a refrigerator there? Do you have anything that you left in the garage for them to help them or to make their life a little bit easier? If so, then we need to make sure we have some personal property coverage for those to get those replaced. The next thing you're going to want to look over on a landlord policy is going to be the liability. Liability is extremely important when it comes to being a landlord. Why? Is a renter can sue you if so, if if there was basically a disagreement or if they got hurt at the house, even though you're not there, they're there and they did something stupid. For example, fall off a ladder, hurt themselves because they were trying to get something. That is still, you're liable for that. So you want to make sure you have plenty plenty of liability coverage. I recommend at least 500,000. If you can get a million, home liability and landlord liability is pretty cheap overall when you look at the dollar amount. So it's something you should really look at to make sure you have plenty of. Now, just like a home policy, you probably want to look at to make sure like if, you, if you're in an area where you have sewer backup or water and drainage, um, especially Midwest area or out east, you want to make sure that you take a look at that to make sure that you have coverage there. And I will tell you on a landlord policy, they are expensive with very low deductibles. Deductibles. So 500, 1,000, 1,500, those are going to be what they consider lower deductibles on a landlord policy. Typically, there is a lot better sweet spot for the $2,500 deductible and up. When it comes to a landlord policy, they expect that you're probably going to make less claims when you have that type of policy. And if you have something smaller, let's say the 500, 1,000, 1,500, they expect you're probably going to make more claims. So therefore, you're going to probably look at 2,500 dollars but do you have the capability to slap 2500 on a credit card or pay 2500 dollars if something major did happen to the house that you need to have fixed so something just to keep in mind on that one as well that's going to be your major components of the landlord policy that you need to take a look at also make sure that you get all the discounts that are available such as what do you do for tenants do you do a background check do you do a credit check do you do a skip search do you do any of those so make sure you make that available what safety features do we have at the house? Do we have deadbolts, burglar alarm, fire alarm, fire extinguisher is a big one as well. Do you have those there? Also, do you belong to a landlord association or 
do you have a property management company? There typically is discounts if you have a property management company that runs it for you. So, But if you don't, I recommend joining a landlord association because there is discounts for those as well. So make sure you keep that in mind when you're looking at that. Uh, that about does it for today's episode on doing insurance right and the landlord policy. Um, I wanted to thank you all for joining us today. If you have any questions, obviously you can uh, give us a call at the office or look us up on the web at scottjenkinsinsuranceagency.com. And as always, if you could rate, review, or subscribe on any of the platforms that you're listening to, whether it be iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or one of the new ones, Pandora, actually. Take a look and uh, give us a review. We'd greatly appreciate it. It does help us out tremendously. And we look forward to talking to you in the next episode. Have a great one.